Hello. I believe I've declared this painting done every weekend for the past mm, two to three months. I'm not even really sure. Uh, and I ended up pulling it out again and going, mm, still not quite right. What? What are you thinking? So once again, I pulled it out and was looking at it. And I realized the background was too dark. There are still aspects about his head that bothered me. So many things that just really ate at me, including the grill, which I just realized you can't really see on camera. But I redid some of the grill, and that got me thinking about the background and the angle of his head right there, the light, blah, blah, blah. But again, I need to make sure it's right before it goes out in the world. And I'm not sending it out if there's anything about it that makes me uncomfortable. And there were a number of things that were making me uncomfortable. So I'm fixing them. And it seems really ridiculous. I have people that write me, they email me and write messages on your, my YouTube channel. It looks fine. But for me, fine isn't good enough. Just call it done and get it out of the get it out of the way. Now, um, although I understand where where they're coming from and that they're just trying to be supportive and um, help me move things along, I I want to talk about something I've learned in the past few years. And excuse me, they're doing. Of course, if it's not Raymond, my neighbor upstairs, or the dog on the other side of the apartment, there's construction going on in my neighborhood, and it's going on right now. So you're going to hear a lot of, you know, that. But anyway, uh, how I got here, how I got to the point where I'm okay looking at and re-looking at and checking and rechecking and recalibrating a painting over and over and over again um, happened a few years ago. I, um, I, I'm not the most cheerful person in the world, but I used to be really, really, really angry. And it would take absolutely nothing to set me off. Now, it takes a bit more and then once you piss me off, I'm all set. We're, it's never going to end. I'm just going to be pissed at you for the rest of my life or till you die. And then I may still continue hating you. But I used to get angry, 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 angry. And I was also a perfectionist in a weird way because I couldn't get anything done because I was always trying to perfect things. And, excuse me, while I do this, um, always trying to perfect things. But it, what it was, was I was holding myself back with the perfectionism crap. It was, this isn't quite right, so, oh, you know, I better put it to the side. I know it was a way of procrastinating and helping myself to not get anywhere or not get anything done. And the difference between that and this, the need to tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak is, I learned... Well, I stopped being angry because I got hit in the head really hard with a ceiling fan, long story. Cracked my skull open and had a concussion for over a year. I almost bled to death. Um, my son actually saved my life because I was up on scaffolding and blood every, just everywhere pouring out of my head um, in pools. But when the ceiling fan cracked my head, and I don't recommend this for everyone who's having anger issues, but it really helped me. It just, something, it hit something in my brain uh, so that I didn't, I, I just stopped being angry. Well, first of all, I couldn't remember a lot after that. And I had um, a hard time remembering how to walk some days or the word telephone. But uh, it affected my, <laughs> it affected quite a bit of me. But it also helped me to find a sense of humor. And through that... Um, and being humiliated in martial arts and, um, you know, just several other things that I tried and did well or did not do well at. And through therapy and Al-Anon and AAA, I learned something really important. I learned how to be vulnerable. Now, when I was angry, I, I didn't understand vulnerability. I equated vulnerability with being stupid. And unfortunately, people see me on these videos 
or they see me in person and I joke around and I seem like, you know, this dopey little kitty or puppy or something. I don't know. I just seem kind of goofy and silly. And they think they sometimes people think I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm not the brightest bulb on the Christmas tree. But I'm not really dumb either. It's like this weird thing right in the middle. But I don't care. I don't care. Whereas when I was angry, I used to care. You're going to think this. You're going to think this about me. You're going to think this about that. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. I'm not that really that way anymore. It's just leave me alone. It's kind of my whole thing. And I do these vi videos exposing my vulnerability. And working my way through, you know, stuff that sometimes I think should be really, really easy. And it isn't. And da, da, da. Because I'm doing this because I want to help other artists. Um, maybe artists who are younger or artists that want to start out. Artists that think that you have to be one way and you have to be right all the time and def definite and definitive to be good. I'm not saying I'm the greatest in the world, but um, I definitely have my own style. I definitely have my own way of approaching painting. And so in the videos, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to be one way. You don't have to be the artist that says, I'm right about everything. This is definitely done and we're sticking with it and that's it. When you know it's not. Well, it's one of the things I'm trying to say. Like I could be the rightest guy in the world somewhere in my head. I could say, this, this MF is done and that's it. And I'm awesome and I'm only posting pictures of it when it's done because I'm that good. But I know better. I know it's not done. I know it's not as good as it could be. It's not as good as... I could, you know, I could make it to be. What I'm trying to tell people is, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to say, I got to fix this thing because it's not right. I know there's artists that are complete dicks about it and just like, I'm the smartest guy that's ever walked the face of the earth. And I've had a lot of those in my life and I don't keep them for long because it irritates me and it's boring. It's my neighbor, Natalie, and their dog. Wait a minute. Sometimes Bugsy goes bananas when Jack goes by. They're still coming down the stairs. Okay, they're gone. So, um, and that was Natalie and Jack, the other the other dog in the building. <laughs> anyway, um, where was I? Well, regardless, I'm lost, but it's okay. I really enjoy being vulnerable. I I really I love it because it allows it allows me to see things with fresh eyes. Whereas when when I was angry and I knew everything and I was right and meh, meh, I couldn't see well. My focus was so small and so limited on what I knew, I knew, and knew. Now, because I'm willing to be vulnerable and op you know, really open my eyes to really see what's in the work, really see where I could improve, it, it just brings on this, this lightness. Being right all the time you know, like Donald Trump, is very limiting. And you've constantly got to find ways to to band-aid, to band-aid your ego and how wonderful you are and how smart you are and how awesome you are. And people re can really see through it. That's the bottom line. People can see when you're full of shit. Well, you know, most people. <sighs> But anyway, I still have Trump in my mouth, excuse me. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, that horrible taste of condescension um, and bitterness. 
But anyway, I'm enjoying being vulnerable. And if you don't learn anything else in my videos, learn it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to tell yourself, I didn't get it right the first time. Telling yourself that is going to be freeing and it's going to help your artwork. And you'll have more fun, which is awesome. And you should have fun when you're creating stuff. Ciao.